You know, it's a really interesting pattern that we have setting up, Greg, where we have areas of a high pressure or strong ridge of high pressure out to our west. And that is where we have, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> that is where we have some extreme heat. We have this jet stream dipping down here, and that's what's allowing a window of opportunity for some intense flooding in that area as well. So we have flood watch and flood warnings along the east coast. Meanwhile, red flag warnings for areas like Billings, Montana and across the Pacific Northwest. Heat advisory for Utah and Salt Lake City. Excessive heat warning is in place across the California coastline, and that is going to continue for at least the next 48 hours as that ridge of high pressure is not budging. I want to focus in, though, on areas across the north and east where we have uh, flood concerns. We do eventually see some relief, but that's not coming at least for the next 24 hours. Look at future radar here. We're looking at at least the next 12 to 14 hours with added rainfall. We could see anywhere between one to three additional inches of rain as a flood threat is currently ongoing. This is an area that doesn't need that much rain considering the drought status. Areas out west not looking like they're seeing any rain, at least not in the next seven days, and that is where we need it the most. Tashara? Okay, 